What should you be paying for solar? Simple question, complicated answer. The joke in solar is that if you speak to three solar companies, you'll wind up with four different bids. So the first thing to understand is how do solar companies charge for solar? The calculation they use is price per watt, not unlike the butcher who charges you price per pound. And the better the quality of the meat, the more you'll pay for it. A premium panel is just like a premium meat. You pay more for filet mignon because of the better quality. You pay more for a premium solar panel for the same reason. If you have two quotes for the exact same panel from two different contractors, and one bid is much cheaper, then other pricing factors have come into play. That's why you need to know the key factors of a solar bid so you can compare apples to apples. You need to understand what each offer includes, but just as importantly, what it doesn't include. Salespeople will play up their offer's strong points, such as low price, and overlook weak areas, such as leaving the conduit exposed on the roof instead of hidden in the attic. Things like this help to explain price differences. Know exactly what you're getting ahead of time to avoid major disappointments after it's installed. The range of pricing varies from more than $5 per watt to under $3 per watt. The absolute best way to know what people are paying for their solar in your area is by visiting the California Distributed Generation Statistics website. Search CaliforniaDGStats.ca.gov. Enter your zip code to see recent installations near you. The results will give you the average price per watt in your zip code. Now let's take a look at a different zip code and see how the results change. As you can see, big difference in the average price per watt. So be sure to check your own zip code to see what your neighbors are paying for their solar. Most systems priced under $3 per watt are cutting corners somewhere and that warning comes directly from the California Public Utilities Commission. Recently, the California Solar Consumer Protection Guide was created. By California law, you can no longer sign a solar contract without reading and signing the Consumer Protection Guide first that explains your solar rights. On page 9 of the Consumer Guide, you will read that, quote, the best option for you is not necessarily the cheapest bid. A very low bid may indicate that a solar provider is trying to cut corners and they could be cutting corners by installing cheaper racking or by using subcontractors or unskilled labor or by trying to save time with quick sloppy installations or not have enough employees understaffed just to name a few remember what Warren Buffett once said price is what you pay value is what you get just be sure you know what you're getting <laughs>